Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I would like to color out of this wee coloring book that was so kindly sent to me by Sandra Jean Pierre um, for review. I did a recent video uh, for a flip through of this book. So this is out of the Mandala series and I thought I would color with glitter gel pens and rather than my chromatag that I always color with, I thought I would get out my Cali Art uh, glitter gel pens. And so I selected some colors and I did find the refills ahead of time. I have quite a supply of these, as you can see. <laughs> There's a whole bunch in here. Now, initially, I think they came with the comfort grips on, but I believe now they do not. Um, but to me, I guess that's not a big deal. So, I do like the Cali Arts. Um, tan mitt is made very similar, but they come in a really nice hard plastic case. Um, I always got the 96 set, which was 48 pens and 48 refills. Uh, now they come in a 120 set for currently they're $18.99. Um, or right now you can get a 240 set which is the 120 pens with um, 120 refills for $22.99 but there's a $2 coupon so for $20.99 you can get 240 versus only two bucks less with the 120 pens so the 240 set is a really good deal right now. I'll leave links down below for these gel pens and for this book. So I did decide to go with my original decision of coloring in this design. And I kind of went with some teals and purples and greens because I wanted to do green for the leaves. So I always start in the middle. So let me zoom you in. And let's see what color should we start out with? <laughs> well maybe 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 I'll start out with the pretty teal right in the middle. I am hoping that my audio quality is maybe a little bit better. I did receive my new mic in the mail yesterday and had to fiddle around with it for quite a while to get it in the clip that <laughs> you have to install it in so that it'll clip on your clothes and oh. It's like, why couldn't that come pre-installed? It, it's really weird, really different. It's not just a standard clip to clip on your phone or on your clothes. But I finally got it. And so, yeah, let me know what you think of the audio quality. I know the feedback I got you know, said that the audio quality was fine just using my phone. And I know a lot of people just use their phone mics. And phones nowadays do have really good mics. Much better than what they used to in the olden days. <laughs> Um, should we go with, I have a lighter purple and a darker purple. Let's see. Maybe I'll go with the light and then we'll go dark around. So, yeah, let me know what you think of the audio quality, if you even notice a difference. 
I sure hope so. <laughs> Took me a while to find refills or a duplicate pen for these because, of course, unlike Chromatech, they don't have, you know, numbers on the barrels or on the refills at all. But I want to get out some of my other miscellaneous glitter gel pens so that... I eventually get down to the well, like three sets that I use a lot and that would be the color it the chromatech and the color technique I really like too. like I said these Cali arts and the tan mitts are really good too though I have quite a few of another bin full like that one of AEN uh, glitter gel pens and those are really good too. Those have the comfort grips on. can't remember if the tan mitt does or not. I have a few boxes of the tan mitt in my uh, filing cabinet yet that I should also use up because they've been in there a while. Now these have actually been sitting for a long time not being used and as you can see they still color pretty good so I was kind of worried because yeah they've really been sitting for quite a while but I have had them sitting horizontally so I'm hoping that will help. Alrighty. Ooh, I like that. What do you think? Okay, let's go around with either the dark purple. Now, let's get out the blue. So, how is everybody doing? It is Friday when I record this. And I do think I will have this up yet today. Because I don't have anything else recorded ahead of time to put up today. And I kind of like to have content out there for you guys every day. So I want to get a few done ahead of time. So I can work on the diamond painting for Maddie this weekend. Times are getting close <laughs> till her birthday party on June 8th. So I have a couple weeks yet. But I have to make the, when I frame mine, I make my own stretch canvases with stretcher bars and canvas that I get from Dick Blick. And, uh, yeah, so I got to do all that yet, too. All right, let's see. I want to kind of save the greens for out there. I didn't use the dark purple. Maybe we'll go with the dark purple and the teal and the light purple. We'll use all three of those colors around. I should actually count to see if that'll come out. <laughs> yes, I do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30. Yep, that'll come out. I love it when they do even amounts. <laughs> because if a lot of times I'll use just two colors um, to go around for things and if they have an odd amount <laughs> it's like no don't do that to me I love this teal color purple and teal oh I think they are so pretty together 
and I have not colored with purple and teal in a long time. So I thought, hmm, okay, we will do that. Update on the birdies. I thought that was so nice, you guys. Many of you in the comments asked how they were doing or that you liked getting the updates on the birdies. <laughs> I thought maybe I was boring you guys by talking about them every time. But I have good news. The baby birds have flown the coop. So I think, oh boy, I'm way off center, ain't I? Sorry. I think the one that was injured that I thought maybe its wing was broke, I don't think its wing was broke. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the one that um, flew out, that I seen fly out of the garage, I think was the injured one, because I think um, the other one was out for a while already because they were quite big they they kind of needed to get out of the nest <laughs> and I think that's the reason mom and dad were staying away so long because they were away for like a day and a half and did not show up so I'm like oh I hope they didn't abandon these poor little things after we touched them and put them back up in the nest but no, they were just waiting for the babies to fly the coop. It was time for them to be on their own. So yeah, now Mama and Daddy are busy rebuilding the nest. Daddy is flying in constantly with twigs again. So guess what I think is going to happen? <laughs> I think we're going to have more baby birdies. Because they hadn't been around after the babies flew away. Mom and Dad weren't around for, gosh, probably like two days. And I thought, oh, maybe they abandoned the nest. Even though I read online, they typically, you know, will, even year after year, they will come back to the same nest. And so I thought, you know, at first I thought, oh, they're, you know, going to have their other broods in the garage too, which, I mean, it's cute, but yet... <laughs> Uh, they get locked in there at night all the time, although it seemed to work out okay for them with the first batch. But yeah, it now looks like they are going to be having another batch in there. But yeah, I... When they were gone them couple days, I thought, nah, they gotta be going in finding, building a nest somewhere else. But they must have just been out busy. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, TMI. <laughs> I gotta laugh every time he comes in with twigs in his mouth. He comes up in the nest and Mama's sitting up there on the nest and He's got to jump on her back, and I thought, uh-oh, <laughs> I wonder what's happening. But no, he just drops the twig, like he says, here you go, do something with it, and then flies off. But he's always got to jump on her back to drop the twig. So yeah, he brings them in. Mama's got to build the nest. It's kind of funny watching them. It's really interesting though. You kind of get to see up close. 
I had to laugh so hard yesterday at Maddie. Oh my heavens, she was so funny. It was so cute. When we go out in the garage and I'll show her, oh, you know, the birdies weren't there. And, uh, but I could hear one. And I said, oh, listen. I said, I can hear the morning doves. And I said, they go like this. They go, whoo, whoo, whoo. And she goes, no, Grandma, that owl, hoo, hoo. <laughs> I'm like, how do you know what an owl sounds like? <laughs> no, Grandma, that owl, hoo, hoo. <laughs> it was so cute. Oh, my God. I told Heather that, and she just laughed. <laughs> Oh, man, man, she's getting so big. Oh, she certainly has been a handful this week, both her and Jaden. So I definitely need a four-day weekend. And it's going to go so fast. Before I know it, it's going to be Tuesday morning. And I am sure that this color in chat is going to be two parts. There is no way I'm going to get this done in one part because this is going to take a few hours. Please let me know if you hear distortion in this mic. When I tested it out and if I was loud like I probably am when I laugh um, it kind of distorted it and so I was trying different places <laughs> on my shirt that I thought well if I laugh or something it wouldn't get distorted but so let me know what you think Yeah, and that came out really good. I didn't miscount. Yay! You know me when I uh, can't have two colors next to each other. Uh, it's that perfectionist in me. Oh, I like it, that. I like it. Okay, let's go back in with... I'm going to go with the blue around here then because yeah I think up until the leaves I want kind of want the leaves to stand out so they're going to be the only things that are green I'm going to do everything else in these four colors and now we got to go around all these petals well what looks like petals anyhow yeah, I wanted to get going at recording this starting much earlier in the morning. So I started getting everything together a little bit before 8. And uh, by the time I got the mic set up, well, first everything over here to my desk. And got the mic all hooked up in that clip thing. I think that almost took me a half an hour that it was oh good half hour later before I actually got to start recording because now it's after nine already and there's a few other videos I want to get recorded before I have to take a shower and get in the wasa Do all my typical errands.
So yeah, I think this will be a two-part color and chat when I feel like I'm about halfway done I will end this part one and then I will start part two a little later because there's a, another video I want to do kind of in between that. And it's diamond painting related. I want to <coughs> color or color. I want to do on camera. I don't know if you all seen my unboxing of the latest diamond paintings I received but included in that was because Easy Whim sent me a couple of things for a review and in that there were two things a really cute owl um, diamond painting but then some keychains I thought, now that's different. They really have some unique things on their site that I haven't seen anywhere else. And so I thought I would do a video completing one of those keychains, key rings. What do you call them? Yeah, key rings, I guess. So yeah, I want to get that done. Another video I have been trying to get at and just have not had the time. I have had a request from a number of you wanting to see all my completed diamond paintings. So I have many that are not even framed yet. But I figured I could show those too. And also... A lot of them I gave as gifts so those I figured I'll just show pictures of I typically take a picture of each one that I do although I don't I don't know if I have individual pictures um, a couple years ago I made all four of my kids and Bob a diamond painting for Christmas and I know I have a picture of all four of the kids diamond paintings together but I don't know if I have individual ones and then I made one for my sister and I do have a picture of that one it, oh I really liked how that one turned out it's a really pretty hummingbird picture and another one for Bob. I have a really cute Christmas one. That's a big one. That's a 60 by 80. And another hummingbird one. On I have that hanging on my wall. I think that's another 60 by 80. And then I have a set of four in my bathroom. And those are all seashell type pictures because that's the theme in my bathroom which seems to kind of be a common theme <laughs> I think there's quite a few people who have beach and seashell type um, themes in their bathroom I don't know if I'm going the big one the big because I have one big picture and then three small smaller ones that that go along with the big one now the big one i can easily get at so i definitely will show that one however <laughs> the three smaller ones are up higher and they're up above i have like a a triple medicine cabinet in there there's like three 
kind of connected. And so up above, behind some hanging lights, I have one of the diamond paintings on top of each of the medicine cabinets up there. And so they're a little difficult to get at. <laughs> But I may climb up on the countertop and <laughs> get them down anyhow. All right, we got to do some counting again because I think I'm going to use all... No, I can't. Maybe we'll just go with the dark purple and the teal for around here because I got the light purple there. Why don't we do that? We'll just go with two colors out here. I think really like the look with that bright one in there though hmm <laughs> maybe we'll go with the bright one too doesn't matter that it's around in there but we gotta count again so we start with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 1, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that will work out again. <laughs> I am lucky out. Okay. Because that would have determined, I guess, whether I go with three colors or only two. If there was an even amount, but three didn't go into it. That would have made my mind up. How long are we in? Wow, we're almost at a half an hour already. How time flies. I am getting a new product in the mail today that I am so excited about. And I will be showing you. We'll be swatching some things out. I did also receive something smaller yesterday that I will be showing in a video also and I'm getting a bunch of coloring books today so I will be doing some flip throughs also so yeah I'll be busy making videos this weekend I received my very first YouTube check and thank you again guys for watching the ads it shows that you know even if you just watch one and I know I've said that before some of them get real long though I don't know why they put them you know real long ads in there I mean who wants to sit through a 30 second or a minute long video or a video yeah um ad you know commercial whatever we don't even like commercials on tv right it's like get back to the program But yeah, so I thought because all the money I make from the ads and from my affiliate, my Amazon affiliate links, I'll go back into the channel so I can show you some new products, some new coloring books. And uh, also for giveaways helps with um, you know paying for postage buying things for giveaways or if I want to include my international subscribers which I do like to periodically do even if I am sending you know I'm having a giveaway for something that I am sending out of course, I can't send that to international, but I will include a, 
a gift card then uh, from somewhere. So that would come out of there too. And that is what I will be doing when, if and when, no, it better be it, when <laughs> I hit 2,000 subscribers. Little bit by little bit, I'm getting a little closer. We'll get there. You guys have all been so supportive. Love reading all your comments. Some of you are pretty hilarious. <laughs> you guys make me laugh. How do you like these colors together? Or is it too much? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm kind of liking it. Of course, with gel pens, it takes a little bit longer than markers. But yet, it is faster by far than pencils. I just really like the vibrancy of glitter gel pens plus the control that I feel I have with glitter gel pens and I guess that's why they are my favorite coloring medium don't get me wrong I love alcohol markers too even more so than water-based markers but there's more and more that I am finding out that you can do with water-based markers. Like swatching colors out on a non-porous surface and then picking them up with a water brush. Or I want to try Anne's trick and from a colorful life of gessoing my paper first and when i watched her do that my gosh she could blend like crazy with those water-based markers so i definitely want to try that i do have a video out there I posted mm, quite a while ago um, comparing gosh how many did I have seven clear gessos with a number of different coloring mediums I think I'm gonna have to turn this around sorry guys I was trying to stretch my hand around too far um, yeah with a, a bunch of different coloring mediums alcohol markers water-based markers pencils uh, watercolor brush pens what else did i have in there <coughs> i think i had elbrick door and ink tents and maybe my zig clean color real brushes i can't remember but just to see how everything would do and which one seemed to perform the best unfortunately and i think this is why i initially bought the first brand of clear gesso was so that i could gesso my page and be able to use alcohol markers on double-sided uh, books where they have pictures on both sides and that's what I was really hoping for. Unfortunately, alcohol markers do not work at all over the top of gesso. 
it's just it I think the gesso just makes it too smooth for the alcohol ink and yeah they they did very very poorly um, on the clear gesso I was so bummed I really was hoping that was going to work, but no, it doesn't. So, I guess if a person wants to really use and blend with alcohol markers, you're going to have to still copy an image off to um, marker paper and do it that way. The problem I have with that is the fact I do not like cutting pictures out of my coloring books. Kind of drives me nuts. <laughs> so unless I have a PDF, you know, if I had, say, a picture in Johanna Bassford's or Hannah Carlson's or, you know, one of those that are double-sided but you don't get any PDFs, and I don't think PDFs are available even. Um, I don't want to cut <laughs> the picture out of the book. I know others out there of you that do do that. But I just like to keep everything in my book. I never remove anything out of my books ever. Never ever. I always color in my books even though I know it's much handier and easier to color on an image when it's not in a book including mandalas because as you can see I have to flip this book around depending on where I'm at in the mandala just so that I can have my hand at a more natural angle But yeah, I just, I don't know. How many of you cut pictures out of your books? And why are you cutting them out? Is it just so it is easier to color them? Or is it because of the fact um, you want to put it on watercolor paper or marker paper or, you know, something like that? Yeah, and I know there are a very select few coloring books that do come on marker paper. The one I um, am thinking of right off the top of my head is Jennifer from Coloring Bliss. When you order your own coloring book because um, you can pick the images of hers that you want to include in your coloring book and you can include so many pictures and it'll be this price and you know this many pictures and it'll be this price so you get to pick how big your coloring book is too but then you can also pick the kind of paper you want it on which I think is awesome and doesn't cost a whole lot more to get it on or anything at all for marker paper. I know they have a, a specialty kind of paper. I can't remember what it was called though and it looks awesome. I would like to order another book from her and Maybe not make it quite as thick as this last one that I ordered because I think I put the max pictures in the book that you could. And I did get it on marker paper, so I'll have to get that book out and color in it sometime too. But I would like to get it on this specialty paper. I think. Anne, are you the one that got one on that specialty paper that I seen and I can't like I said I can't remember what it's called is it like a shimmery I think 
type of paper so that it really shimmers when you color on it. I'm not sure. I would have to go back to her website and look. Okay, we'll finish this blue. Phew, we got the middle portion done. <laughs> so, we're almost up to the leaves. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Let's see. I was going to do teal for these, but I think if I'm doing these green, I won't do that. So I think I'm going to go with the lighter pink. Can't do the dark blue, and I, I don't think I want to put dark purple up there. I want to put something lighter against this dark blue getting hung up in my mic now. I'm not used to having a mic anymore and I <laughs> gotta remember to unhook it before I get up and walk away. I had that problem before when I had my other mic <laughs> and yeah you forget you have it on and you get up to walk away and it goes snapping off. So yeah I gotta gotta get in the habit now of <laughs> taking it off again takes longer to hook everything up now with having to plug the mic into the adapter because of course iPhones no longer have the headphone port so yeah you gotta get the adapter but it is well worth it if the audio is better Unfortunately, it's not just any mic that you can use with this software that I'm using now for recording. And that's why I had to get this special mic that, of course, isn't as cheap <laughs> as many of the others. But it does work with this software. I had contacted the company and you know when I found out my other one wasn't working I asked them you know what the heck <laughs> and I gave him the brand name of the one I was using and he said yeah there have been some known issues with that brand of mic and the software and so he recommended this Road, I think that's how it's pronounced. I think it's R O D E microphone, but yeah, they're a, a lot more expensive. So I had to put off buying that for quite a while. And this is another purchase that I made with my uh, YouTube money because. It is going back into the channel in one form of another in trying to make my videos better. Okay, we are going to get out the greens now. We're at 45 minutes. Okay, how do I want to do this? I think I'll make the stripes darker and the bigger ones lighter or should I do that in reverse no I think that's the way I will do it I really gotta think don't I <laughs> it's early in the morning Let's do this. Let's do that. I put too much thought sometimes into things. It's like, just color it already. <laughs> I am getting 
coloring um, a number of, in my last coloring chat I had mentioned that Jaden, my grandson, wanted to pick out a whole bunch of coloring pages for me to color. So he pulled a whole crap load <laughs> of books off my shelves and picked out a bunch of pictures including one in each of the Colortronic books and with um, Zoe having Colortronic a month I thought oh that's awesome I have been coloring a couple out of those books anyhow and well, these colors are real similar shoot Maybe they won't be once they dry. Um, so I am coloring one of them that he picked out. It's an owl. Really turning out pretty. First he picked one out of a Sun Life drawing book. The one color line book which I love that book that's another one I want to finish did just recently finish a different Sun Life drawing book so oh no I'm wrong I finished the one line book this one is the one color animal stencils that's right so that's the other book I would like to get finished. Then he picked out a design for me to color. And I got that done. Now I'm working on one of the Colortronic pictures. I guess there's a little bit of a difference. Hmm? And what am I going to go around the outside with? Should I go around with the teal? Yeah, let's do that. Or should I just go around with that? Maybe that's what I'll do. I don't want to put the teal up there. That's so much more bluish. We'll just do this. Yeah, I told Jane it's going to take me two three months to get through all the pages he picked out holy cow he did pick out some really good designs though he pulled off the shelf some of the David Hinken Jr. books which are my favorite pattern book out of the hundreds that I have <laughs> I love his series I think there are 11 volumes in that series and they are kind of you know they're a little bit on the thin side but yeah he pulled a couple of those out and I'm like oh yes I will color out of them he picked out a couple of fairies to color too and I can't remember if one was a creative haven no Jade Summers I think Summer. I always want to say summers. Alright. And I think we're going on close to 50 minutes. I'm not sure if I'll get all the leaves done before I stop this first part or not. Because then I don't think the second part will be too long because all I'd have is that outside. So I think we'll just do some of these and then end part one. If you notice a bunch of pink on my fingers, this one <laughs> is really pink. I was refilling a couple of my Copics last night <laughs> and one of them decided to puke all over my fingers. Ugh. Remind me next time when I do that to wear gloves. 
Yeah, it'll eventually wear off. I was holding it. Normally when I refill them, I hold the marker itself with a paper towel and I forgot to do that. So yeah, it leaked all over my hand because I was putting the ink in. I was getting impatient because normally I don't have a problem. But yeah, I was getting impatient putting it in too fast because I replaced all of the chisel nibs with the fine bullet nib. I now cannot pull out either nib to refill because you are not to pull out the little nibs. Some of them are in there really, really tight. And some of them aren't too bad. So I don't know if, you know, some of them are just a tad bit bigger around or what. I can't imagine that the barrel of the marker itself is a little bit smaller. So I'm assuming it's the nibs. But yeah, I had emailed Copic directly and I said, how am I supposed to be refilling these now? Because you definitely are not supposed to pull out the brush tip to refill. And yeah, I was having a heck of a time getting some of the bullet nibs out. I had ruined some. So up. Oh, Okay, I'm going to ask Copic about this. And they said, yes, don't pull out either nib. You do the drip method. And some people, even if they have the chisel tips in, they do the drip method. They don't pull out the chisel tip. But that's the tip you pull out if, you know, you're going to pull one out and refill it that way. But... Um, yeah, a lot of people just do the drip method where you drip one drop at a time onto the nib and I drop it onto the brush nib because it absorbs more. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little more time consuming. And so yeah, I was getting a little impatient. Lisa's always in a hurry no matter what she's doing should see me zip around Walmart when I'm grocery shopping. <laughs> uh, out of my way, out of my way, Lisa's coming through. Just don't do anything slow. Rush, rush, rush. I'll have to go out and see if Daddy's still bringing in twigs. It seemed every time I would go out there is when he'd fly in. And it's like you always know when he's coming because you can hear that sound that their wings make, which is very unique. <laughs> you always know when it's a morning dove. I don't know of any other bird's wings that make the sound that the morning doves do. But maybe I am wrong. Boy, that green really does pop, doesn't it, against all them purples and stuff? Wow. All right. Maybe we'll do half of these leaves. So we'll maybe, I don't know go down and then we'll end this part because I'll be at about an hour record a couple other videos and then maybe come back and do part two if I have enough to talk about might have to get my uh, questionnaire that I printed off from the internet and it's uh, just all questions would you rather like would you rather have Mexican or Italian 
And that was a hard one because those are my two favorites. Mexican and Italian. So yeah, I really couldn't answer that one. I think one was Coke or Pepsi. And it's like, I no longer drink any of them. It used to be Diet Coke. And then it was Diet Mountain Dew for a long, long time until Bob got sick and he couldn't drink his sun drop, his diet sun drop. And there, he had gotten a whole bunch of it because it was on a really good sale. And so I'm like, well, you know, he said too, you might as well drink that up. Well, now I really like <laughs> diet sun drop. And it is quite a bit cheaper than Diet Mountain Dew or any of the others. It's only three something a uh, 12 pack at Sam's. So it's a pretty good deal. When you think of how expensive some of the other sodas are. For the summer, I want to make, um, usually what I do in summertime, both for myself and for the kids, is I have a great big two-gallon container that has a pour spout on the bottom. And I will make a big batch of crystal light in that. And then all you have to do is, you know, I put it on the top shelf in the fridge, and then if Jaden wants something to drink, all you got to do is, you know, go in there, push the pour spout, and works really, really nice. The only problem is, right now, I do not have room in my fridge for that thing. It does take up a lot of space. And so every summer when I get that thing out, it's like, okay, we have to remember... We have a lot less room for the summer on that top shelf. And that is, of course, where your taller things go, because that shelf is taller than a lot of the other ones in the fridge. And the milk goes up there, and juices. And so, of course, it's hard to get <laughs> to any of the juices or anything else that is behind this two gallon thing. But it works out much better for the kids. So, and it actually lasts quite a while before I have to, you know, get it down, wash it out, and <laughs> make them a new flavor. Jaden really likes it when I mix flavors. This one time it looked really, really gross. <laughs> can't remember. I mixed three of them together because I only had like one packet of this left and, you know, maybe two packets of this. And I know it was orange and grape, but there was a third thing in there. Maybe it was pink lemonade. Can't remember. But yeah, it looked really bad. As you can imagine, you know, what color does purple and orange make? Yuck. So, yeah, it looked horrible. But, oh, my gosh, did that taste good. Tasted kind of like sweet tarts. <laughs> so, yeah. First time I gave him a glass of it, I said, Okay, Jaden, this looks really bad, but I says it tastes awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so he tried it and he said too, he says, oh, that's really good. So sometimes good things come out of mistakes or trying different things. Look how dirty my pinky's getting. It's because I'm kind of resting on that where I just colored and I should not be doing that.
So yes, it's getting to be summer. Well, at least spring. It's been so cold and rainy here again all week. And today too. But this weekend will be making up for it. Tomorrow's just supposed to be gorgeous. Mid-70s, sunny. And then Sunday, too. It's going to be a little bit cooler on Sunday, but not bad. Low 70s and partly cloudy. But partly cloudy means partly sunny. Depends how you look at it, right? So it's still going to be a good day. Unfortunately for Memorial Day on Monday, naturally, because there's parades and stuff, it's supposed to rain. I thought that wasn't very nice. Everybody marching in these parades in the rain. I remember having to do that when I was in high school in the band. Either marching in scorching heat <laughs> or in the rain. Because, of course, we had big heavy uniforms on yet back in the, those days. And now, because I went to Athens, you know what they wear now? For marching and I don't like it I just I don't think it looks near as nice for a marching band they just have on t-shirts and shorts and I just I don't know I guess I'm an old fuddy-duddy but to me for a marching band you should have uniforms well they all wear black some type of black shorts I mean, they don't all match, but just so they're black shorts. And then they have these light blue t-shirts that they wear. But I still don't think that looks right. I know more and more of the bands around here are getting very lax on uniforms. Edgar still has, I think, I gotta think now. I think they still have uniforms. But yeah, we had big, heavy uniforms that don't breathe. So we would sweat our butts off. And that was the new ones. The ones that were before that were even worse. And we would have these hats that we had to wear oh so yeah he sweated up a storm in them and of course on parade day it's got to be you know near 90 or raining <laughs> no not always sometimes it's nice out Okay, I think we will do maybe a couple more leaves and then I will stop this video. It's getting to be almost 10. And hopefully I can go out and get the mail shortly and go get my package it's another video I'll probably make before the second part of this oh getting thirsty one moment Oh, wrong one. Oh, I am coloring that in the wrong color. Oh well, guess we gotta finish it in that color. Darn it. 
Maybe I'll see if off camera once this dries, if I can go over it with the other one lightly. So what is everybody else coloring? And what are you coloring with? Is anybody participating in any of the color alongs this month? There are so many going on. Wow. I know there's a Hannah Carl's on one. I forgot who's doing that one. Um, there is, well, the one I'm doing with Donna. And that's the Dover Spark books. And Zoe doing the Colortronics books. John from Bibliophile Colorist doing Halfway to Halloween. I do want to color a Halloween picture too yet. Um, I do have a color by number Halloween book coming maybe today. So I might color out of that one. Otherwise, I uh, want to color out of the Jade Summer, the Chibi Horror book. I thought that would be another good one for Halloween. But yeah, John's been doing a lot of his Halloween pictures. They have a number of Halloween books. I should look through all of them. And I do have some color along slash collaborations coming up in the next few months. Matter of fact, I'm in two of them next month. <laughs> So, you will be seeing a number of color alongs next month so that I can color for both of those. And you will be finding out about them near the end of the month. And then I have one, so that's for June. And then I have one for July also. And that's going to be another fun one. Well, they're all fun. <laughs> or we wouldn't do them, right? It's always neat to see if anybody's coloring along, even if it's not the same picture or even the same book. Not saying you have to do everything we are doing. Or even if you're doing the same picture, you don't have to use the same colors or, you know, you do your own thing. Just nice to hear, you know, that somebody's coloring along with us as we're jabbering away during our color and chats. Nice to hear what everybody else is doing. I'm having a lot of fun with Zoe's Colortronics. I think I've done, well, I've done a couple off screen. I did do the one color and chat coloring. What was the picture now? But then I did the, I did, um, the rows. Oh, is that the one I did on screen or on camera? That could be. Um, because I had asked her to color it. It looked so pretty. So yeah, then I colored it. Then I seen her coloring uh, Peacock. And it was looking so pretty. So I actually put down what I was coloring so that I could get out my markers match them up to the colors and do that peacock 
and oh my heavens was that an involved really putsy picture that took forever to do <laughs> wow i don't think any of the other pictures were near that involved i mean they're definitely challenging because the shapes in some of those pictures get kind of intricate in places very narrow and you know so you need thinner markers or brush tip markers i do use my copics in those books it is nice smooth paper so it does not tear up my nibs at all and for the most part i use um the fine bullet tip that uh, i replaced all the chisel nibs with but there are places where it gets so thin and narrow that I have to switch over to the brush. So having brush tip markers for some of those pictures is really nice. Well, it's nice in a lot of respects. Brush tip markers in general are just really nice. I think, anyhow. Because I am not, as I've said in the past, not a chisel tip girl. I think the majority of us don't like chisels. I mean, I know you can get both thick and thin lines from the chisel nibs, I guess. Because I have never worked with them enough, I just, I don't know, can't get them to work decent for me. So on the budget-friendly markers where you only have a chisel nib and the bullet nib, I always color with the bullet nib. Very rarely will I use the chisel nib unless it's a big, you know, open spot that needs... Um, we'll do one more leaf. You know, a big open spot that you're coloring. Because, as we all know, alcohol ink evaporates very quickly. And you don't want the edge of that ink to dry as you're coloring. Because otherwise you get a line in the paper. Um... You know, you can see where one edge of the alcohol ink stopped and where the, you know, next part of it began, if that makes sense. And so, yeah, you kind of want to avoid that. Sometimes it's pretty close to impossible, though, depending on what large area you're coloring. If you're going around stuff, and it's big spaces and you just can't keep at both areas, you know, to keep them all wet, the edges wet to prevent those lines from appearing. Yeah, sometimes it gets impossible or nearly impossible. And that is one time I'm really in a hurry and that's when I am coloring large spaces with alcohol markers. Because you got to kind of work fast to prevent those lines. So, and because in the larger spaces I'm working with the chisel, and I'm not as familiar with the chisel, sometimes... I will go out of the lines. And me and going out of the lines, that's a tragedy. <laughs> that's worse than having two colors next to each other. Like having the dark green here and the darker green go around, that kind of bugs me. <laughs> I just don't like it. So like when I'm doing my patterns in my pattern books, I always make sure I have picked enough colors where I won't have to have 
two colors next to each other. Four colors is my norm, but sometimes five. It all depends upon the design. And sometimes I don't figure it out right because I'm just kind of looking at the design and kind of thinking in my head how many colors I'm going to need. And sometimes I'm not always right. You don't really know until you actually get coloring the picture. And we are just about done for this part one. I think part two, it looks kind of like we're halfway done, huh? I know the outside of this is going to take, you know, a little bit longer. It's a little bit putzier because I'm probably going to be using these same three colors around here. And I'll count them off camera to make sure three will work. Because <laughs> I don't, this here one back behind is a little bit different than these that are on top. So I'll have to see what will work out for each of these. So this is where I'm going to leave it for now. Let me zoom back out. All right. How's it looking so far? I think it's going to look a lot better once I get the leaves done and we get some more of these colors on the outside. Because right now, it's like those greens are just jumping at you, aren't they? <laughs> at least to me, because they're just, they're so much bigger than, than the design in the middle. But yeah, I think having these three colors around the outside is really going to look neat because it's going to look layered then. So, okay. Well, this is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you for joining me in this color and chat. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. I would love to have you. I hope everybody had a terrific week and has a terrific weekend, especially with it being Memorial Day weekend. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.